To the Moon is the kind of title that shows up on people's top lists, such as games that made people cry or games that made me feel. It's the journey into a person's mind in which you experience their memories in reverse. How could someone design a sequel to this kind of story? The premise of this narrative involves the creation of an entire person's life to pass through and then change. As much as I like writing, I would find this an extremely challenging task. So, I was excited to get my hands on the updated Switch re-release of To the Moon's sequel. Finding Paradise. Originally developed using RPG Maker XP, Finding Paradise was released on PC in 2017. This new release is built in Unity and brings the title to mobile devices as well. Once again, Finding Paradise stars our eccentric scientist duo, Dr. Ava Rosaline and Dr. Neil Watts, on a new job for their shady company, the Sigmund Corporation. This organization offers a wish fulfillment service for the elderly and those about to die. Using special technology, Ava and Neil can explore, manipulate, and then change clients' memories so they can die without regrets. It doesn't alter their past, just what they think. Hired by a man named Colin Reeds, our duo of professional and lackadaisical scientists find a mysterious roadblock. Whilst in previous cases, regrets are obvious, Colin doesn't seem to have much of an answer to what he wants, and his family is rather apprehensive about the whole procedure. For all intents and purposes, he seemed to have lived a largely fulfilling life. So what gives? Presented in the classical top-down RPG Maker style, Finding Paradise plays mostly the same as the first game. It's an adventure title where you do little more than walk around, talk to people, and interact with objects. Not as linear as a visual novel, but the gameplay does eliminate the need for prose. Instead, you'll get commentary on events from our fantastic scientist duo who foil each other perfectly. Whilst Johnny's story in To the Moon is, I feel, best described as watching with anticipation for a car accident, as it consists of happy memories leading to an inevitable tragedy, Colin has a much more perplexing tale. To begin with, the reverse chronology doesn't go to plan, leading to memory jumps all over the place. This makes the tale more of a mystery as the gang tries to figure out this man's life and his regrets. Whilst the first game spoke to me as someone with autism and an obsession with space as a kid, I had to wonder how this could be matched. It turns out that the answer is yes, it can, because Finding Paradise is about regrets as a concept and facing the existential nightmare of death. And if those feel mildly horror-like to you, you're on the money, as this time the game has additional skits and gameplay sections straight out of classical horror RPG Maker games without losing the analytical tone the title started with. Plus, like To the Moon before it, Finding Paradise has an acutely melancholic soundtrack filled with serene piano pieces that really help highlight the gravity of someone's entire life and can match the tonal shifts. Freebird Games knows what they're doing. I did, however, run into a couple of issues. For one, either this game is slower or it feels slower. Movement just feels bad, and the player is often left waiting for other characters to tediously finish moving before you regain control during certain sections. There are also many interactable objects that don't seem to have their hitboxes quite lined up, leaving me mashing the interact button in the general direction of the object I hope to find. For extra fun, sometimes pressing the interact button causes your character to move in a random direction. When the movement and interaction of a game, in which all you fundamentally do is move around and press the interact button, doesn't feel good, it does sour the experience. However, this can be patched out at a later date. Finding Paradise is a worthy successor to To the Moon, which re-explores the themes of death and regrets in a new light, in an easy-to-understand way. The Switch re-release offers players the chance to play the game in the most visually impressive way it's ever been, and brings it to a broader audience. When I wasn't interrupted by the strange interactables, I was immersed in its gripping and mysterious narrative. Now all I have to do is wait for Imposter Factory. They made a third one of these, and I need to play it. Noisy Pixel is giving Finding Paradise a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to check out the full review at noisypixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy Pixel.